Paul Tootle Jr.'s journey in the world of custom motorcycles is a tale of creativity, conflict, and resilience. Born to Paul Tootle Sr. and his wife Paula, Paul Jr. was destined to leave an indelible mark in motorcycle culture. But beneath the sheen of success lay a turbulent family dynamic. This is the heartbreaking tragedy of Paul Tutul Jr. Paul Tutul Jr. was born on October 2, 1974, into a family where motorcycles and metalwork were a big deal. His dad, Paul Tutul Sr., ran a steel business called Orange County Ironworks. Growing up, Paul Jr. didn't spend his summers like most kids playing or going on vacations. Instead, he was in his dad's workshop, learning about steel and how things are made. By the time he was 12, he was already pretty good at working in the family business. This early start in his dad's workshop wasn't just about learning to work with metal, it was preparing him for his future as a famous motorcycle builder and a star on the show American Orange County Chopper. In 1999, Paul Tutul Sr., a man with a passion for motorcycles, transformed his hobby into a business, founding Orange County Choppers in Newburgh, New York. This was a big step for the Tutul family, shifting from a steel business to the world of custom motorcycles. Paul Jr., born in 1974, played a crucial role in this new venture. With his natural talent for design and attention to detail, he quickly became a key figure in the company. His early years in the family steel business had prepared him well, and now he was applying those skills to create unique, eye-catching motorcycles. This was more than just a business. It was the creation of a legacy that would soon capture the nation's attention. The father-son duo's venture into motorcycle building laid the groundwork for what would become a renowned brand in custom bike making, leading to their fame on the reality TV show American Chopper, which debuted in September 2002 on the Discovery Channel. Paul Jr.'s designs and craftsmanship were central to the show's success, showcasing a blend of artistry and engineering that captivated audiences worldwide. American Chopper premiered on the Discovery Channel in 2003. The show was a trailblazer in reality TV, focusing on the life and work at Orange County Choppers in Newburgh, New York. Paul Jr.'s talent for design and his on-screen charisma quickly made him a standout star. However, the show was more than just about building bikes. It delved into the complex dynamics between Paul Sr. and Jr., often highlighting their explosive arguments. These family tensions, combined with the high-stakes world of custom motorcycle building, captivated audiences. While the show brought fame and recognition to Paul Jr., it also presented challenges as the pressures of working with family under the public eye took a toll. Despite these challenges, American Chopper remained a popular and influential show, running initially until 2010, with various revivals and spin-offs in the following years, including the notable Senior vs. Junior series. But what happens when the cameras stop rolling and the lights fade? The story of Paul Tutul Jr. is not just about success and fame. It's a tale of a son's struggle under the shadow of a towering father figure. Stay with us as we delve into the depths of their complex relationship. When American Chopper started in 2003, it wasn't just about building cool motorcycles. It also showed the growing fights between Paul Tutul Sr. and his son, Paul Jr. Their arguments on the show were really intense and seemed to be about more than just work stuff. Things got really serious when Paul Jr. was fired from the show. This firing was a big deal and started a huge fight between them that was about more than just the show. They ended up having legal battles and lots of public disagreements. This fight between Paul Sr. and Jr. became a big part of the show's story. It showed how hard it can be to work with family and how deep their problems went. The firing of Paul Tutul Jr. from Orange County Choppers marked the beginning of a tumultuous period filled with legal battles and strained family relationships. The conflict between Paul Jr. and his father, Paul Sr., escalated beyond their on-screen arguments 
leading to a series of legal disputes that further strained their already fragile relationship. Despite these challenges, Paul Jr. didn't let this setback define his career. In 2009, after a year-long non-compete clause following his departure from the family business, he embarked on a new venture, founding Paul Jr. Designs. This new chapter in his life was a testament to his resilience and dedication to his craft. At Paul Jr. Designs, he continued to showcase his exceptional talent in motorcycle design, creating custom bikes that impressed both enthusiasts and industry experts. His business thrived, marked by collaborations with various companies and expanding his brand beyond just motorcycle building. This period was not just about professional growth for Paul Jr. It was also a time of personal development and overcoming the challenges that came with his public feud with his father. The journey from being a key figure at Orange County Choppers to establishing his own successful business was a remarkable transformation for Paul Jr. It demonstrated his ability to innovate and adapt, turning a difficult situation into an opportunity for growth. His story is not just about the challenges of working in a family business, but also about the resilience and creativity required to succeed in the competitive world of custom motorcycle design. After years of intense arguments and legal battles, Paul Tutul Sr. and Jr. began the difficult process of mending their strained relationship. This journey of reconciliation started to take shape around 2018, years after Paul Jr. was fired from Orange County Choppers in 2009. The father and son, who had been at odds for almost a decade, started to bridge the gap that had grown between them. Their emotional journey was filled with apologies and difficult, heartfelt conversations, reflecting their deep love for motorcycle craftsmanship and a shared desire to move past their tumultuous history. In June 2018, in a significant moment captured on the new American Chopper, Paul Sr. visited Paul Jr. after years of silence. This meeting was a crucial step towards healing their relationship. The two worked together from 1999 until 2009, when the junior was fired from the family's business, leading to a public and painful rift. The reunion was not just about rebuilding their personal relationship, but also about reconnecting over their shared passion for building motorcycles. The process of reconciliation was not easy. It involved confronting the past, acknowledging mistakes, and understanding each other's perspectives. Despite the challenges, both Paul Sr. and Jr. showed a willingness to put their differences aside for the sake of their family bond and their love for motorcycle building. This journey was a testament to the power of forgiveness and the strength of family ties, even in the face of deep-seated conflicts. Their rocky road to an on-air reconciliation, captured in the later episodes of American Chopper, was a poignant reminder of the complexities of father-son relationships especially when mixed with business and fame. The Tutul story of reconciliation serves as an inspiring example of how even the most strained relationships can be healed with time, effort, and a shared passion that brings people together. Paul Tutul Jr.'s story is a poignant reminder of the complexities of family, the pressures of fame, and the relentless pursuit of one's passion. His journey, marked by both triumphs and trials, continues to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. As we reflect on the life of Paul Tutul Jr., we are left to ponder the delicate balance between family bonds and professional aspirations. How does one navigate these turbulent waters? Share your thoughts on Paul Jr.'s journey and the lessons it holds in the comments below.